Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to synchronizing the Lotus Domino system databases. After completing this lesson, you should be able to create a server groups for replication and you can create a connection document. Server database to replicate. Using a groups for server access and database access facilitate administration. Administrator can also use groups to schedule replication from one server to a group of servers. Using a group for server replication, it facilitates administration by reducing the number of connection documents required to replicate with multiple servers and it will simplify the process of including a new server in the replication to policy. If you see this server groups and replication, in this figure, we have a hub server and different types of servers are installed in a different locations. So for all these servers, we have created only one connection document. Okay, so this one connection document, so destination server is a east mail server, where the east mail server is a group of consisting the following members like east 1, 2 and 3. So we created one connection document for all these three databases. And if you take another example here, there are three connection document for three different servers here. Destination server East1, East2 and East3. So you want to minimize your administration facilities so you can create a server group. You can create a server group and you can create one connection document for this group and you can start managing the replication process. This is the advantage of creating a server groups for the replication purpose and replication controls we can control the replication by the type of replication and database priority connection document selective replication server access acl and element access these are the replication controls you can use it on the type of the time of the replication we have different types of replications you can set up as a pull 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 only pull push pull only push only these are the different types of replications available. Methods for forcing the replication. You can force the replication from console commands and console commands and text files listing servers and database to replicate. Or you can use the domino admin client on the server tab tool span. You can click the server and say replicate. Or you can do the from the Lotus nodes or workstation or from the domino administrator client. Click on the file replication and replicate. These are the options are available for methods to forcing the replication. Now let me show you how to create a group for the replication. Go to your administrator client. Go to peoples and groups tab. Click on the groups. Say add group. For example, replication servers and type of group select as a servers only. Here, I am selecting my servers here. So these are the servers I have created. Then save and close. So these servers will be, you can use for the replication purpose. So these type of server group only can start replicating with a group of servers using a connection document. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a connection document and add this group name there. Thank you.